Well, hello, friends. Hi, it's me, Zay, and I'm here at the Midpoint Libraries. And I think you know what that means. That's right, it's time for another story time. So are you ready to help us sing our song? I hope so. Get those hands ready for some clapping. Here we go. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story and you want us all to know it, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. Good job, very good, all right. Well, let's get right into it. And I don't know about you, but it's been pretty cold where I'm at lately. We're stuck in the middle of winter and it feels kind of gray. So I've been thinking, I wanna get someplace a little bit warmer, a little bit more fun. So, would you like to come on a little trip with me to the beach? Yeah? Come on, let's go. We'll use some books to get us there. We're gonna start with one today called Swashby and the Sea. This one is brought to us by Beth Ferry, who wrote the words, and Juana Martinez Neal, who illustrated. You're right, that means drew it. Very good. So let's read about Swashby, who thinks he doesn't need any friends. But we'll see if he does or not. Captain Swashby loved the sea. The sea and he had been friends for a long, long time. She knew him in and out, up and down, and better than anyone. So, when Swashby retired, it was to a small house on a small beach, as close to the sea as he could be. Whenever he needed something, the sea provided exactly the right thing at exactly the right time. Life was just the way Swashby liked it. Salty and sandy and serene. Do you know what serene means? It means quiet, peaceful. So it was serene until squeaks and squeals sprang from the empty house next door, which was no longer empty. It had been commandeered by a girl and her granny who planted umbrellas, scattered beach chairs, and boarded Swashby's deck without permission. Uh -oh. Swashby buttoned down the hatches, hid when the doorbell rang, and fed their oatmeal cookies to the gulls. He didn't need neighbors. He didn't want neighbors. Neighbors were nosy, a nuisance, annoying. So, in return, he left a message written clearly in the sand. We see it here, can you see it? It says, no trespassing, which the sea fiddled with just a little bit. The sea's gonna mess with it. See our letters there? Let's see what the ocean does. It's washed away a lot of our letters. What do we have? S, I, N and G, very good. That reads, sing, the girl read. It did just that. She sang every song she knew while dancing up and down Swashby's deck. What now, she asked. So Swashby wrote, now vanish, Swashby wrote later that evening, adding a starfish exclamation point make it nice and loud. There's our letters, now vanish. And the sea fiddled just a little bit. What letters? Just a few left. Wh-ish, the girl read, picking up the starfish. Wish, and she did just that. She closed her eyes and began, I wish. What do you think you would wish for? Yeah? I like that one. But before she could get her wish out... No, no, Swashby interrupted, stomping down the steps. If you mean to make a starfish wish, you must say this. Starfish back to waves so blue, the sea will make a wish come true. How lovely, Granny said. We wish you'd come for a cup of tea, Mr. Swashby. But Swashby... Let, woo. The sea is mixing up my words too, huh? Let's try again. 
But Swashby wished to be left alone, so he grumbled and mumbled and hurried inside. He didn't need tea. He didn't want tea. Tea was civilized, friendly, neighborly. What he needed was a new message. Please go away, he wrote firmly in the sand. And once again, the sea fiddled just a little. What's left? Pluh, A, the girl sounded out. She did just that. With Swashby's shells and stones, with his buckets and shovels. But her towers kept falling. See her sand castles falling apart? Barnacle bottoms, Swashby muttered, marching out. You're doing it all wrong. You must not use the sun-baked sand. It's the sea sand that does the trick. And he showed her how to dig for the wet sand below. Think. Swashby was gone. Before long, amazing sculptures decorated the beach. It's the clamshells you should be using, Swashby called from inside. Come play, Mr. Swashby, the girl called back. Swashbees don't play, he answered, banging the shutters. So the sea decided to meddle more than just a little. She inched her way up the sand and tickled the girl's toes. She nibbled on the sculptures and slurped away the bucket. The girl tried to grab it, but, look at me, the girl called. Look at her, Granny gasped. Oh dear, look at her. Granny hurried to the water's edge. The girl's about to be swept out, but Swashby was already there. Splash, in he goes. What are you up to, you great salty imp? He asked scooping up the girl and the bucket. With a great big wave, the sea delivered the pair back to shore. And there was no stopping the laughing and thanking and hugging that was Swashby's reward. I see what you did, he whispered to the sea as he was whisked away to celebrate. After that, it was easy for Swashby to have tea with the girl and her granny and ice cream and lobster, and s'mores on the beach. It was easy for him to share his special sea glass. It was even easy for him to see that neighbors could be fun, and friends, and family. And when he had a moment to himself, Swashby carved a heartfelt message for the sea. It says, thank you, friend. I think that's a nice thing to do. But the sea fiddled with just a little bit. What letters do we have? We'll turn our book a little so we can read them right side up. T-H-E, that spells the, E-N-D, and that spells end. The end. That's our first book. I think it would be nice have the sea help me out a little bit, don't you? Well, speaking of the sea, I've got a little bit of it here. We're going to have some friends from the sea come up and join us. I've got some bubbles here. I bet you saw them earlier. You might have even counted them, but let's count again. Can you count with me? Let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five. That's right. Five bubbles. I've got five bubbles. You know what bubbles do best? They pop. We have some friends to help us come out and pop them. So we're going to see some friends come out from the ocean. If you know what they are, shout them out. I want to hear it. I'm listening. But also, when those bubbles pop, I need your help. Can you help me pop them? I bet you can. All right. Here we go. Five little bubbles floating on the sea. I don't know where they're going. And I don't know where they've been. But along comes an octopus, and the bubble goes pop. 
Now there are four little bubbles floating on the ocean top. That's right. Four little bubbles floating on the sea. I don't know where they're going, and I don't know where they've been. But along comes a turtle, and the bubble goes pop. Now there are three little bubbles floating on the ocean top. Three left. Three little bubbles floating on the sea. I don't know where they're going, and I don't know where they've been. But along comes a narwhal, and the bubble goes pop. Now there are two little bubbles floating on the ocean top. Two little bubbles floating on the sea. I don't know where they're going, and I don't know where they've been. But along comes a jellyfish. And the bubble goes pop. Now there's just one little bubble floating on the ocean top. One more time. One little bubble floating on the sea. I don't know where it's going, and I don't know where it's been. But along comes an eel, and the bubble goes pop. Now there are no more bubbles floating on the ocean top. Good job, friends. Those are some tricky ones. Have an eel, jellyfish, a narwhal, a turtle, and an octopus. Nice job. Thanks for your help. Well, I think we're going to clean up our ocean friends here. And then I'd like to read about another ocean friend. So it's time for another book here. This is one called Don't Worry, Little Crab. There's our little crab right there. Have you ever felt scared of something? Maybe excited for it, but a little bit worried? A little bit nervous? Sometimes it feels easier not to do the things you're scared of. Well, little crab here, he's got some things he's afraid of too. We're going to see if he's too scared to do them or not. This book comes from, to us from Chris Houghton, who wrote the words and drew the pictures. Don't worry, little crab. Little crab, and very big crab, live in a tiny tide pool real small. Today, they're off to the ocean. This is going to be so great, says the little crab. They go tick-a-tack, tick-a-tick over the rocks, splish, splash, splish, splash across the pools, and squelch, squelch, squelch through the slimy, slippery seaweed. I can go anywhere, says the little crab. Finally, they get to the very edge. Here we are, says very big crab. The ocean. Oh, says the little crab might be a little bit bigger than he thought. Well, maybe it's better if we don't go in the ocean, says the little crab. Don't worry, says very big crab. It will be okay. But the waves are getting bigger. Look, a huge wave. Hold tight, hold on tight. Here it comes. Whoosh! In comes the wave. Little crab and very big crab are holding on. I think I've had enough of the ocean now, says little crab. Let's go just a little bit further, says very big crab. 
I think you'll like it. But the waves keep getting bigger and bigger. Another one. Hold tight. Here it comes. Whoosh. Even a little bit further up, can you see? It's a big wave. I don't think I like the ocean, says Little Crab. Maybe we should go home. Don't worry, Little Crab, says Very Big Crab. I'm here. Come, just a few more steps. Little Crab takes a step, then another, until... Look at that. A little bit of the water. I'm in the ocean, says Little Crab. But then they see an enormous wave. Do you know what enormous means? That's right, it means very big. This is an enormous wave coming. And it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Ready? says Very Big Crab. Little Crab nods. They take a deep breath. Here it comes. Whoosh! Do you see Big Crab and Little Crab? Do you see them? Right down here underwater completely. Down, down. Down they go. Look, little crab. Little crab is looking, are you? What do you see? Down there, at the bottom of the ocean. Do you see anything fun? I think I do. Everyone comes to say hello. My name is Little Crab says Little Crab. They eat delicious seaweed. They run all across the sea floor. And they have a giant game of hide and seek. I think that sounds pretty fun. Do you know what Little Crab says about that? I bet you do. Let's see, he says, I love the ocean. Yes, but it's time to go home now, says Very Big Crab. Do you think Little Crab will want to go home? He didn't want to get in. Hmm. Let's turn the page, find out. What? I really don't want to go home, says Little Crab. Well, how about we go the long way home, says Very Big Crab. Can we go up this way, says Little Crab. I think you can go anywhere, says Very Big Crab. And off they went, the long way home. And that's the end of our book about Little Crab. What do you think? Have you ever felt like a little crab? Or you had something that you were a little nervous about? A little scared? I know I do. But sometimes, like little crab, after I do it, it turns out to be pretty fun. Sometimes even when we feel pretty scared, it's worth it to try. So I try to be like little crab, even if it's hard. Well, I want to give you something fun to do at home after our story time is done, which it almost is. So I think maybe if you can get some grown-ups help, see what sinks and what floats. Get a little bit of water in a bowl. See what floats on top of the water and what sinks down like a little crab and very big crab did down into the water. I think you might be surprised. Yeah, things that float, things that sink. 
If you see me around, let me know. I want to hear about it. I always, lo always love to learn. And we've got lots of fun programs going on at the library, so make sure you grab a program guide or check out our website. Our spring one should be coming up soon, and we've still got a lot more in our winter, so lots of fun things to do. Come and find us at the library. Find a lot of fun things, but I'm going to let you get to the rest of the other fun things you've got to do today. And that means it's time to wrap up with our closing song. Do you think you can do that? We're going to need our hands again, because we're going to wave goodbye. Ready? Here we go. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Goodbye, everybody. I'll see you soon. <laughs>